It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Logan, and I'm here giving y'all this review. Um, just a quick reviews video. Y'all know how these go. I've got some from two weeks ago. I got some from one week ago. I got some from this week. So, yeah, this was supposed to come out last Friday, but then I saw there were a couple coming out this past week on Friday that I was like, yeah, know what? They're not going to get their own video. So I just figured I'd tag them onto this one and just make it a long, quick review. <laughs> um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. I've got two from two weeks ago. First one being Ritz's Picture Perfect. This one clocks in at 13 tracks, 50 minutes. Um, and Ritz has a great flow. You know, he's got some solid writing, but man, it just comes in with a lot of filler, as you would expect from a Ritz album that is this length. Um, he's just way more suited for a seven song EP, just really short, really to the point. Again, you know, he's someone that can grab your attention for a short, short period of time, but if it goes on for much longer than that, you're going to be completely clocked out. And that's what happens. I have a lot of fun with the first half of this project, and then it just goes on for too long. Um, the features are completely on the nose for him. You know, you get Tech Nine, you get Twisted Insane, and then a couple of others that I'm not really familiar with. Um, but they all work well with him, of course. Um, you get decent moments of genre bending, some good guitar riffs, specifically on the Picture Perfect track um, with Tech. Um, again, this is just basically what you would expect with some solid moments, some fun moments for sure, especially on the earlier tracks. Um, once it gets to the Tech Nine song, I feel like it kind of starts going downhill though. Um, that being the last song that's good, not saying that song's not good. Um, not, and there are some good moments after that, but a lot of it's just totally forgettable. And for that reason, I'm going with a 6 out of 10. Now, don't forget for these, I don't give the little, um, like, this rating blank out of 10. You know, I don't do the whole album of the year contender 9 out of 10 crap like that. No, I just give a straight up number review. Uh, so next we had Hetty One with Edna. This one clocks in at 20 tracks, 63 minutes. And it's one of the better UK rap albums I've heard all year. Um, they've, I mean, UK rap has been on the upswing since, like, 2017 for me that's when i really started checking them out and i didn't even care for it that much then they really just started hitting me like earlier this year if i'm totally honest i always like people like jay huss i like some stuff from gigs skepta of course stormzy but i've really started digging a little bit deeper and i am happy to have done that um this song has a couple i mean this album has a couple of bangers um ain't it different i love that song it's really fun then you also get a solid future feature and a solid drake feature on a um on a um freestyle that i I heard before I actually got around to listening to this album. Overall, it's a lot of fun, really good, um, really good addition to the UK rap scene this year, and I liked it. Um, now after that, I'm going to talk about an album that came out last week, Open Mike Eagles Anime Trauma and Divorce. This is one that I thought I would have enjoyed a lot more than I did. Not saying I didn't enjoy it a lot. It was only 12 tracks, 34 minutes. And Open Mike Eagle is one of those guys that I really enjoy and I always listen to because I know he has the potential to have that cult classic. And I love cult classics. You know how I love clipping in their work. Don't worry, review coming. Um, so I was excited. Death Parade is definitely one of the best songs this year. Um, the lyrics are great. The beat is fun. And the flow is so melodic. So melodic. Really enjoyed that. Um, and that's the first track on the album. So I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be fun. And then of course the title being anime trauma and divorce. I love anime. And then it just sounds like it's going to be fun, nerdy, and deep. But after that first track, it kind of starts going downhill. Not saying that there aren't other good tracks. You know, he's rapping from perspective of different things. He's doing these weird things that only he can do or only him and a certain amount of other artists can do. But overall, it just kind of gets lost on me. And I feel like on a lot of other people, um, it was good, but nothing crazy. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a, a decent 7 out of 10, I guess. 6.5, I could see. I don't know. It, it just kind of gets lost on me, and I don't see myself really coming back to it. Um, now after that, we get Joyner Lucas this week. Evolution. This one I had heard would be coming, um, but I didn't know what to think. Thank God it was not ADHD. Still had some stupid skits on it. Some stupid corny skits, especially the one at the beginning. But, I mean, you get where, like, his teacher's telling him, like, Joyner, you wrote a letter for your stepdad. Don't worry. One day you'll have a real dad. I'm like, what? No. Oh, that's just stupid. Okay. Anyways. Um, um, we get a great verse about racism and Black Lives Matter by game on the track he's on. We uh, Rick Ross is on this one as well. And, again, he's undefeated on features. Um... Joyner goes a lot deeper on this one. It's a lot more focused. It's not just bangers and fast rapping, although 
fast rapping is on this, obviously, but he goes deeper. He talks about Black Lives Matter. He co- talks about racism. He talks about um, his life. Um, he talks about growing up without a dad, you know, having a stepdad and all that. Overall, it's still a really corny effort, as you expect from Joyner, but a vastly better effort than ADHD, and I'm going with a 6.5 on this one. Finally, the last one to talk about is Tech Nine's Fear Exodus, which clocks in at 8 tracks, 19 minutes, really short. It's just the leftovers from Interfere. Again, this is the second project he's dropped of leftovers from Interfere. The problem with that being Interfere felt like leftovers. I enjoyed it. It's fun. I always love Tech Nine's fast rapping, but for the last, like, I don't know, since 2016, I think, is or no, 2015, when special effects dropped, ever since then, I've just not been that interested in a Tech Nine album. The Storm really killed it for me. Um, Back in 2016, Planet, you know, nothing special there. Nina was pretty fun. It was a step in the right direction, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, Again, he's still really fun to listen to, but he does not have that project like he had back in the old days, of course, with special effects, with Angelic, with um, KOD or Killer or um, Ever Ready. Dear God, Ever Ready. I have a signed copy of that CD from when I went to his concert back in fall 2018. November, I think. Either way, I don't know. <laughs> it's just fillers, complete fillers, and at best, it's a 5 out of 10. Uh, that's all I got for y'all, though. I mean, you know, no, again, nothing really to break down about these. A lot of albums or EPs or mixtapes that y'all probably aren't going to be listening to, and none that I really highly recommend other than the Heady One album. It, yeah, that was an album. Um, Joiners, I would say check out. Just check it, just because. Um, Ritz, you can check out a couple of tracks. And then Open Mike Eagles, I'm like, yeah, you, you should check that out if you enjoy him. But if you don't enjoy him, this isn't going to convince you to. If you if you didn't enjoy um, Brick Body, Still Have Dreams, or whatever that, al- what, whatever that album was called, um, this one's not convincing you. Um, so that being said, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure to um, check out my other videos. I should have the um, clipping album review coming out. Wednesday this week, which should be tomorrow whenever this video goes up. After that, I'll be working on the Ty Dolla Sign one. I've only listened to that album once so far, and again, this is Monday night. It came out Friday because I've been consistently listening to that um, clipping album, but I'll get around to it. Don't worry. It should come up this week as well. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to hit the like button, comment, sub, hit the bell next to my name for notifications, and I will hit y'all up next time.